Welcome to Cabarrus This Week. I'm Dominique Clark and I'm in downtown Kannapolis at the new state-of-the-art HM Health Ballpark, home of the Kannapolis Cannonballers, who you may remember as the Kannapolis Intimidators. As you can see, people are already enjoying the stadium, which serves as a hub for the new downtown Kannapolis area. Let's hear from Matt and Vince about the new team, stadium, and all it has to offer. The overwhelming support of the community has just been incredible since the name change. Merchandise sales, just energy around the team has been unbelievable. I think back to uh, April 16th, it was supposed to be our opening day. And as a staff, you know, we had that marked on our calendars for a year. But we wanted to commemorate it at least, you know, as a different setting. But a few of us just came over and walked around the ballpark and turned on some music and, you know, just sat in the stands. We each had kind of our own section. Um, but sat in the stands when 7 o'clock hit, and you'd be amazed at how many people were just walking around the ballpark and peeking in and kind of wanted to be a part of it too. And that's truly when I thought we need to do something special. It's still promoting social distancing and following the guidelines, but we needed to open this facility up to the public. And food just seemed like one of those things that always brings communities together. It's something that you can sit in a ballpark and enjoy a hot dog and there doesn't have to be baseball going on. You're able to create those memories, but at the same time, without baseball, you still have to learn and do new things to make money and generate revenue. Um, but it's been awesome to see the community support around just food in the ballpark. Right now, we have our normal food operation um, happening here at the ballpark. And as every week passes, we keep adding a different level to it. I almost call it our own phases. We started with just your hot dogs, hamburgers, then we added ice cream, then we added caramel apples. We've since opened a salsa cart, nacho cart, steak and chicken kebabs. Uh, so we're trying everything out to see what sticks, see what resonates with the fans. So it's also a good learning experience. And we want to do everything we can to continue to be like a vehicle for change in the community. We want to make sure that we're able to support dozens, if not you know, hundreds of community organizations each year, financially, with our time, with our commitment, with visibility, um, so that we can have scholarship programs, we can provide uh, employment to kids to have their first job. I was a dishwasher when I started working when I was 15, and to think I could have worked in a ballpark and sold cotton candy or caramel apples, it's just, you know, those are the fun memories that we get to hear about. We've heard our fans from the past that people have met here, got married, now have families, and we want to continue to be able to provide that environment for our community in the future. Thanks so much, guys. For more information on the Kannapolis Cannonballers, please visit their website, milb.com slash Kannapolis. The convenience and connectivity of walkable neighborhoods is becoming more and more desirable. Communities are seeing new businesses, restaurants, and shops open in areas that were formerly vacant. And the same is true for downtown Kannapolis. Hear how revitalizing a once thriving downtown with a new streetscape is creating excitement, bringing people together, and generating economic opportunity in this community. had to have something that would bring people downtown. It's walking or exercising, jogging through the park, it will become a part of our lives. We're at Old Armor Beer Company. We're the first company to open up on West Avenue. We did our grand opening February 13th, 14th, and 15th. Did really well. Big numbers coming through the doors and then uh, closed down a month later. And then we opened back up with a 50% and it's almost as if nothing happened. We wanted to make sure people were invited to be downtown all the time, year round. And so we made it into a park, people will be walking. There was nothing here, you know, and it was, it was just dying. And for the city to step up and come up with a game plan and come up with a mission and say, here's what we're gonna accomplish, and then actually do that is impressive. I have people tell me all the time, I can see that building above the trees. I never thought I'd see a building in downtown Kannapolis that was higher than the treetops. That is 300 new people that will be coming here by the end of this year, they will be ready to open up. They have a list already, more than the number of apartments that they have. And as a result of that, there's gonna be lots more people coming to downtown Kannapolis in a very short period of time to 
take advantage of those restaurants, to take advantage of the ballpark and the other things that, that we have in our vision for what the future is going to be. When the mill went down, getting, everything got torn down, you know, we all remember that. But to see this really rise out of the ashes is incredible. One of the most powerful solutions to less stress, better mood, and healthy living is so shockingly simple, even a toddler can do it. All you have to do is put one foot in front of the other and walk. And there's a new challenge to help get you started. Walk Cabarrus is a community-wide walking campaign focused on creating a healthier community. The goal is to reach one billion steps as a community. Yes, you heard that right, one billion. And it's a lot easier than you think. Chris Shoemaker, the first woman in the county to log one million steps, explains how walking has improved her health. Walk Cabarrus is an initiative for residents in Cabarrus County to get out and walk. It's just a great way to promote health in Cabarrus County. Loop the Loop is fun because you get to see the progress that's, and the changes that are occurring and they occur daily in downtown Kannapolis. You can tell that the city of Kannapolis has made it important to make it pedestrian friendly. It's bike friendly, runner friendly. Walking to me is the best medicine. If you, I look at it as preventative care. If you walk outside, you are taking a break from technology, you're engaging in nature, and you're kind of resetting your buttons. A couple years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, which gave me a little bit different outlook and appreciation for being able to be active. It was a learning curve for me, not being able to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it after surgery. And as soon as I could, I just made a vow to myself that I wouldn't let a, an opportunity go by without being able to engage in some type of physical activity. I was recognized as the first female in Watt Cabarrus to reach a million steps. When I saw that I was in the top 10, that, that was something I wanted to achieve and hoping I can still stay in that top female role. Whether it's 10 steps, 100 steps, or a million steps, it's just important to get out there and do it. Step one is you register and walk a bears, which is free, there's no cost. But just set personal goals for yourself, and you know, if it's one mile, if it's three miles, if it's every other day, just get started tonight. Incredible, Chris. No matter how you move, know that every step counts. Register and log your steps as an individual, family, or organization for free at walkcabarrus.com slash register. Well, that's our show, guys. You can learn about all these topics and more in our newsletter. To sign up, go to cabarruscounty.us and type newsletter in the search bar. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. Catch all our other programs, including Pimp's Kitchen, Historical Moments, and more, streaming live at cabarruscounty.us slash CabcoTV or by downloading the Screenweave app for Roku and Apple TV. Until next time, remember the three W's. Wear a face covering when you're out or around others and social distancing isn't possible. Wait at least six feet apart when standing in line and wash your hands frequently and for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. Until next time. <laughs>